Hey, Fish fans, here with Evan Graham. Evan, great game here tonight, 21 points, four assists, just an overall good team play. Yeah, um, we had a solid um, team play tonight. Um, we played really hard. Both teams played really hard, and it was a physical game, which we embellished, and we really wanted to do that and play hard the whole game. You guys toughed it out, and one thing I noticed out there, I'm sure several Fish fans did as well, you guys aren't selfish. Although you had 21 points, still the ball was moved around, and you just seemed to look for the open man. Well, Coach went out of his way to give us roles, and we're all embracing that, and we're doing the we over me thing, so we're worried about the team, but we'll play and the togetherness of the team, and we know if we play together and do our role, we'll be successful. Well, you mentioned that we over me. It's definitely turning out well this season. You guys all together as a team, 4-0 and on the season. How good does it feel to just keep it rolling? Well, 4-0, and winning is always good. Um, if it's a tight win or a close one or a blowout, winning is perfect. I mean, we worked hard all off season together as a, as a unit, and we just want to keep winning for each other. Just winning for each other is important. Well, congratulations here tonight. Keep up the good work, and we look forward to continuing the season. Thank you. Hey, Fish fans. I'm Chris Dietrich, and uh, to avoid confusion, I have a hat. And I'm here with head coach David Balza, <laughs> who successfully led his team to now a 4-0 record on the season. You defeated Morehouse College 78-73 to in a very tough physical game here tonight. It was. It was a lot of fouls, a lot of just physical you know, battles down inside, big rebounds, I thought, both ends of the floor. So I was happy our guys came out on top of that. No injuries and, and a W on to boot. Yeah, and you mentioned the word big, and it, there were a lot of big men underneath Physical play was tough. How do you think your big up front performed? Oh, I thought they played very well. You know, we got in that foul trouble early. We had both uh, Tucker and Ross, our two starting bigs, sitting on the bench. Tucker with three and Ross with two. They combined for about 10 minutes in that first half. So I thought we got a real nice performance from Clark Major playing significant minutes in there. And then Devin Giddens, who's kind of that in that role, if he doesn't play a whole lot unless there's foul trouble, well, he had to play a lot in that first half. And I thought he, as a freshman, came in and stepped up big for us. It, it, definitely they provided some sparks off the bench. Now, now this game, again, we're going to mention, mention the physicality of it, but it could not be contained in regulation. You had to go to bonus basketball. Do you manage it any different at that point? Yeah, well, I, you know, we, we could have easily given it away at the end of regulation. It's a tie ball game. They got the ball. They're going to hold for the last shot. So we didn't want them to be able to do that. So we tried to trap them. And with the idea that we would even foul, they had two kids that shoot about 25% at the line. So we said, we'll even foul early on just so that we get the last possession. And we felt like if we, you know, maybe they wouldn't be expecting that. And sure enough, we were able to get a turnover, get down. I thought we got Evan in and out on that last shot. If he hits that last shot, well, uh, there's no need for overtime. But I thought our kids did a good job of executing and had showed good patience in overtime. Not only physical toughness, but mental toughness as well. Again, Coach, congratulations on the 78-73 overtime victory here tonight. You go to 4-0 on the season. Fish fans, be sure to check out PBASailfish.com. See what's coming up and check out anything and everything that is PBA Athletics.